Hi, Sharon from Vivid Days. We are continuing our, uh, I was going to say erotic, exotic inspired Moroccan theme. And I went into the local Big W and I'm loving going bargain hunting and challenging myself. And I found this $5, or was it $5.99 MDF little medallia cut out. And I thought I want to turn that into something. And it's got a little mirror in the background. So it is designed for arts and crafts. And I thought, I am going to turn this into a mosaic stroke feel of that Morocco vibes. I'm sensing that hate and holidays and happy vibes and it's got gold intertwined. I went on a journey. I'm not going to say that I didn't learn along the way. I think that's the great thing with these projects. I just go with it. I go intuitively. I don't necessarily think it out. I just want to do it. And then along the way, I make some learns and some of those learns are the white background really help it pop, the colours. Um, the MDF is going to release those bubbles and some of the colours that I added my resin dye into my clear resin because it was a lot less hassle, saved a lot of waste. Some of the denser colours didn't go into uh, the resin so I had to wipe the excess off the next day but I quite like it, it's very rustic bohemian and i really like it but if you've already completed one of these yourself hashtag showing lindley inspired me put that on it then i can have a little look at your work or join my facebook group where i uh, can see because i get inspired by you hopefully you go inspired me and it's a circle of love in the art world anyway if i haven't said this already thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome Every Monday is going to be a new resin project uh, video and I'm going to start to keep introducing, not start, keep, that doesn't make sense. On Thursdays, I'm going to move that to my acrylic day. So people that have been enjoying me sharing my acrylic journey or the things I want to share with you to hopefully inspire you to pick up your brushes, um, it'll, it'll be on a Thursday and I'm going to try to commit to two videos per week. But it's exciting. It's even nearer my nail coming. By the time I'm talking to you on this, it'll be five weeks. Yes, I am doing a mass edit upload while my hair's done and the makeup's done. <laughs> anyway, see you on the next video. Wherever you are, stay safe. If you've got time, keep creating and give those loved ones a hug. See you on the next video. Bye bye. So this should have been uploaded by now, but I'm only just doing my voice over. It's a fun project, stick with me, and as I say, I am hunting around local stores. This one, Big W, $8, and I am going to see where this takes me. Now, I know the end results, I'm talking to you, but at the time, I didn't know where it was going to go. I knew that I wanted to encapture different gold foils, uh, a mixture of gold, the bronze, the silver, which you're going to see coming in, and I'm putting it on with some Mod Podge. What I didn't realise is how quick Mod Podge dries. <laughs> now this process took me quite a long time and I let it set overnight and then I came with my brush and dusted off all the excess leaf. Anything that was, um, that flaked off my gold leaves, I collected uh, so that I can recycle them I and use them for other projects. These ones were quite cheap, it's just from a local craft store from about four pound ninety four dollars ninety nine Sharon you in Australia now my lovely Australia just a little bit of share my nail colours change three times in this video that's how long I've been dabbling at this project not too long per each part just doing a little bit in between real life stuff anyway you're gonna see me come in soon and I'm gonna use some uh, almost like um, what do you call it you back your school books with it, contact paper, that's the word I was searching for in my brain. And I apply the medallia firmly to it. Now, after I have cleaned off all my excess leaf here, you can see the, it's quite rustic, it intermingles the colour. So there's my adhesive book cover. And I remove the backing and press my medallia on it. Now, these are the different colours I attempt to use. I think there was, I think I used all of them by one. I think I didn't use the peach. And I put some of that sparkle into my resin. Now, the medallia is firmly pressed onto that contact paper, so it's very sticky. The idea being that it should hold the resin in there and stop it leaking. Now, I decided for this project, for ease of myself, I was just applying very slowly 
the clear resin to each one of those holes. Now, you can do this with colour in there if you prefer. I just wanted to do it slow and steady, make sure it's in there. Where possible, try not to overfill, because I knew I'd probably come and dome it with some colour. Removing some of the excess bubbles. Now, for me, I'm just going to come and drip one drop of the resin dye into the clear resin which has got the sparkle in there you will see some of it spill over the edge don't stress we come in and clear that up and i know i can always paint over it with the gold pen if i needed to so i speeded this process up a little bit to save you a little bit of time but you get the drift i just apply the dots and place them where i feel it's going to be aesthetically pleasing My thought process was the smaller ones would just need one dot as you get to the bigger areas i end up doing three with these no four sharon count fours after three depending on how the resin moved around with the dye depended on if i added more so the purple added about three i think the blue add two uh the green we mentioned the four after the three <laughs> uh, but the resin was curing and i'm not too sure if it's the density of the pigment or how the resin how long the resin's been mixed that's helping the red and what am i trying to say sharon well if the resin is fluid and you put your dye in is it going to spread easier than when it starts to heat up and it's almost curing is that's what's stopping it moving I don't know i think it's actually the density of the pigment and obviously as the red resin <laughs> how many times can i say resin is um becoming thicker it's gonna stop it moving as freely i left us the very small little pieces while the end after i'd applied the red uh, but by that time these pigments were just they just sat like a blob <laughs> And so I come in with a little skewer and try to blend it in and mix it in. And it does work on some, but I did have to come around with my uh, a baby wipe the next day and pull off the excess, uh, which you can see now, pigment that had risen to the top and been pushed out from that resin. I'm now coming in with a cotton bud and slowly mopping up the um, residual pigment or a little bit of that resin now i should have wore gloves here but because i'm being very delicate with how i'm holding it no resin did touch my hand but you could easily get lost in the process and forget this is where i've got my skewer and i'm just trying to blend in the yellow with the resin because uh, the downside of adding your pigment into your resin means it can just sit on the top and it sort of expands and then it starts contracting and you'll start as i get to the next layer seeing what i mean you can see in here actually some of that pink you can see how it comes away from the end now i actually quite like the look it looks quite rustic you might not like that so if that's the case you mix your resin into it so here's my gold pen where i'm coming around and i am just touching up the parts that i i didn't quite want it that rustic sharon <laughs> It didn't bother me that some of it was the silver I was covering up because I just went with the flow. Go where the project's taking it. Uh, this is where I'm showing you where I used my little baby wipe and I came around and took off the excess. And I've just mixed up some more resin. I've put some sparkle into the clear and I've added some copper just to give a nice little pop to that centerpiece here. Now, if you're a messy worker like I can be, you might think about covering your glass on. I did get a little bit of resin on the mirror, but... I'm not too stressed because it's for me and it's a prototype but it's something you might want to consider now the reason i didn't is if my resin got to the side and there was some hangover hanging over of the area i'm trying to protect it might get stuck in there so i wanted to avoid that lesson here is i went around and didn't put too much resin on there but it's going to keep spreading out and i didn't want the gold foil to spread out over the color so this is where i'm using the clear now to push it back but i did spend a bit of time before i filled the rest of it up with resin seeing where that copper was going to go and slowly pushing it back like i am doing now making sure that it's touching the sides and then i slowly add my clear with a little bit of sparkling to the edges and you'll see soon what i do is i tease the resin to the edge so i don't want it to splash over the side and run off at this stage i'm trying to control it so here i am just making sure that it's pulling to the edge 
I knew it wasn't going to overspill with how much I'd applied because some of the colour was inside the wooden areas of the medallia. I'm just showing you that I've now got a bigger board that I've primed with white acrylic paint and I just wanted to show you the effects from the back and from the front of where it looked like after I've removed the masking tape. Now I'm going to attach my medallia to the wooden MDF board, the round one behind. The reason being, I just wanted to keep going with the project. I wanted to see if I could embellish it. Now, I could have painted the back of the medallia white, and that would have meant that any overspill of the colour that we're going to add for the next layer wouldn't have seeped through. So that was me just holding it overnight so that it was secure. And I found some, uh, like, craft wire, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a go at seeing if I can embellish onto the design that's already there. So I'm all class. Look at me using a cup to get the shape I want. And then I'm thinking, hmm, let me have a look at this design before I secure it in. I really did love going in the creative down the rabbit hole. Uh, as I like to say just seeing where I can take this and that creative freedom this I didn't secure anything down at this stage but this probably was quite fiddly not this part and coming up with the design was fine but because the wire is so soft it bends and I wanted it to be fully flat so you can see me pushing down a little bit there to make sure it makes contact but I knew I wanted to glue it in place because when I pour my resin in, I wanted to control where the colour was going to go. And that's the part that took me a little while. I ended up just using some glue um, and some really dodgy weights, you'll see, to hold it in place. Because I just wanted it to have enough grip so that the resin wouldn't push it out of the way. And I decided to add it to the center of the mirror as well, just to help it all connect and look like it belongs together and help it pop. And it works, but I needed to go out and buy some super glue. I didn't use it for this. I just used a tiny little bit of tape, believe it or not, and then covered it in gold and it masks it enough for me. But I decided as well, I wanted to then define the pattern even more. So even though it's not like the original designs i think it's sympathetic to it and it adds a lot of value <laughs> look at my uh, glass and my mod podge holding down those bits that were being a little bit stubborn and you can see here everything else has been glued down by the last piece and i'm just making sure is it flat flatter this way or the other way and then i come in and just add a little bit underneath to try and make that board tacky and i didn't want to leave any obvious globs of glue there so when I put my resin in I didn't want it to be like a dam and push it away and I just added a little bit underneath and when it's all down and glued enough I just come and uh, do another brush around it because I really wanted to control the resin now overall really love this design now you could have chosen to stop at just the original board you could choose to stop with just adding a little colour around one area but I decided to push it all the way because I wanted to make sure that the darkest colour, not black, but a darker colour was at the outside. I wanted to warm it up with some red just near the other colour and then that would be it. So just two colours and hopefully that was going to complement the colours and draw you to the centrepiece where there's more colour and more vibrancy and obviously gold embellishments to make it pop. And I, look at that, Coke came in handy. <laughs> so at this point, I decided to come in with some more gold and just go around the edge there. Uh, I, it touched the bottom of the board. It wasn't too stressful for me, but just around the edge because I knew then, depending on where you're looking at this piece when it's on the wall, it's going to look lovely and gold and all complimented. Anyway, I have sped this up for you. So yeah, you see me painstakingly go in and just add a little bit of resin in each one of these little petals as I'll, I call it. One, because I want to make sure it's right to the edge but it's not going to overspill to remove as many bubbles as possible but I'm also assessing if any resin is leaking out. Once I was happy that no resin was leaking out and I'd got the seal, I come in and I add that first red that I applied on the medallia because I absolutely love that. And then once I've done that, I come in and add the blue. Now, the red petals when i first apply it spread out sped out spread 
out and then contracted so i come and add three more drops so in total i think that add between five or six per uh, petal and that worked just removing some excess bubbles there uh, and in the middle <laughs> you might say well, Sharon what are those boxes well uh, the piece that I attached around the mirror I wanted to make sure that there was enough weight on there uh, so that I'd be left, left there overnight it made it a bit harder when I was doing this but I was running out of time I needed to get this video uploaded yes it's definitely six because I had three now and then I had three on the last go round I have a little board underneath and I can keep spinning it around which works well and my desk is very level as well so that's a, a bonus um, as I came to the blue the final end piece it didn't want to spread as much as the red so you see me come in and swirl it and it's a personal choice you could have left it with just the white border a little bit of resin or no resin or you could just leave it with the the blue as it was I wanted to swirl it because I knew that the pigment would keep moving a little bit but I wanted it to have I don't know a rustic feel now the one thing you don't see uh, is I come and show you after I've added my blue underneath the um, tub again I added a little bit more clear to the red uh, so I come and do another dome in because <clears throat> how can I articulate this on this round here there was a slight dip because I didn't want to push it to dome because I didn't want the two colors to come in the next day I came and added so came I came back to the project and added some more clearing where the red is and again trying to get a dome but I did add some more blue because I wanted to intensify the darkness of the blue and I wanted it to have I don't know just some more features now you could say well because it's got the swirls in there it doesn't represent glass it's okay I like I like it that way so you do whatever you feel happy with now I just love the colors in this piece I love the gold the accentuate accentuate oh my word that makes it pop I'll use that word it accentuates accentuates I'm really stuck on that word now but I love the rose effect that I get from that red and how it just complements the rest of the colors and I love how the blue intensifies the edge and it draws your eye into the middle and then I come in with just the gold pen and do around the edge and just slightly on the edge of it all to bring it all together now when I added the blue the second time I had to stay there and babysit it for about 20 minutes because the color kept overlapping the gold line and I didn't want to lose that so it was worth it now I've mentioned or I'll mention at the end of this project here that I could do another flood coat or top coat because of the gold wiring it's very hard for your resin to look smooth so there's little dips in there and it, it's not flush you could choose to do that if you want it to be all flat I quite like the rustic look of it and I've run out of resin uh, and I'm just trying to work out if the cost of the resin that I'm going to add it is going to add value or if I can still enjoy it the way it is but hashtag Sharon Lindley inspired me I hope that you're enjoying seeing this project come, to, come together it was a labour of love but I think it's worth it I'm going to do another one of these projects uh, got myself another one of these from Big W and I'll try different colours or a different process uh, but if I have inspired you let me know Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next video. But if you haven't already, have a great week. Give me a little like. Help me get my art out there. And yeah, on that bombshell, I'm out of here. Bye bye.
I just absolutely love this end result. Took me on a journey. I love how rustic it is now. This is tacky to touch, so oh look at my nice nails today. Ooh. Tacky to touch, so <laughs> I am in the um beyond the time it's meant to be up here. Um, I may have to give this one more top coat, but I'm just asking myself, is it worth it as far as what I'll gain from it? Because this is for me, it's a prototype, but it is going to be my home. And I just love the um, almost rose petal looks and some of the rusticness. And yeah, it took me on a journey and I just love what came out of it. Even that gold edging. Yeah, it goes to show what you can buy with an $8 craft project that came from Big W and a little bit of imagination. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments, always welcome. Let me know what you think to this. If you are inspired, hashtag Sharon and Lee inspired me. And if you haven't already, consider giving me a thumbs up. But I'm out of resin. I'm waiting for some to be, to be delivered. So it might be my last resin project for a little while, but what a way to end it, eh? Bye-bye. See you in the next video.